hello lovelies welcome back to my channel Dovis kitchen in today's video i share with you how to prepare the famous Ghana contome or palava sauce with agushi contome sauce is prepared using kokoyam leaves it is very nutritious and delicious Let's now prepare the kokoyam leaves by first checking to see whether there are any bad ones inside and removing any hard parts. After that, I'll soak it in salt water for about 15 minutes and rinse it twice with water. After rinsing, I'll clean the water from it, but you don't need to do this. Then slice it into pieces. You can also boil it and grind it. Let's start with the sauce. I am pouring red oil into the cooking pot. You can also use any other vegetable oil instead. Add some onion, stir, and then add some stockfish. You can also use momoni or lapi. I will let it cook for about 2 minutes to release its flavor into the oil before adding my tomato sauce and pepper. I will stir and add ginger and garlic paste. I will now cover it and let it cook for about 8 to 10 minutes on medium low heat. After 10 minutes, I added some all purpose seasoning and allow it to cook for additional 2 minutes before adding some shrimp and fish powder. I will now cover it for about 8 minutes and then season it with homemade seasoning cube if 
before adding the contumery. I had to freeze the leaves because I wasn't ready to use it by then. Freezing is a very good way to preserve cocoyam leaves and some other green leaves. As the sauce is cooking, I'll prepare the agushi, that is the melon seed, by adding some water. I will stir it till it's well mixed. I will not let it be watery. This is the consistency I'm going for. I will cover it and set it aside. Let's check on the sauce. It's now time to add the fish. I'm using tuna and mackerel. Use any protein of your choice. Now, let's cook our agushi. I'm pouring red oil into my frying pan. I'll let it heat and pour in the agushi. I'll continue stirring till all the water is evaporated and well cooked. After cooking, it will look like scrambled eggs. You can also add your agushi to the tomato sauce without frying it first. It's ready, let's add it to the sauce. Look at how yummy it looks. After adding the egushi, I'll let it cook for about 3 minutes and it is done.
and adding great stock bonnets for flavor and heat. I will be serving it with cooked yam. Let's serve and enjoy. It is so, so delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give me a thumbs up. If you are new here, you are welcome. Please like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. To all my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching. Bye.